Hi, I'm Petro Yuga, and I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial, uh, The String Virtuoso. Today I'd like to talk about Bela Bartok, the Romanian folk dances. This was written originally for piano by Bartok, and it himself did arrange it for different um, ensembles, for example, for string orchestra, and um, also for big orchestra with flutes and with all the winds. These folk dances were typical for this period of beginning of 20th century in Transylvania, that time uh, was belonged to Hungary, and um, Bartok took one sabbatical year and was traveling in Eastern Europe to collect folk music. And he um, took from this collection the six dances, what he wrote for the piano. And his good friend Sigeti proposed him to do it on the violin with piano accompaniment. So it's from the violin part that I took these um, pieces and also changed the tonality of the last two dances because of the technical wish issues of the instrument to have open strings. So let's talk about the first dance, Jokul Kubuta. That's a dance with a stick. And the stick was used by shepherds. It was a more symbolic also, but also a practical way to protect themselves from bears and from wolves. And so with this stick, they also used to go in the village Sunday and they start to dance with the stick. So that's why this is a very um, shepherd-like dance, gracious but steady. So um, Allegro Moderato, written by Bartok. I will play more Moderato than Allegro. So I have this steady sitting um, character of the piece. So it comes with these octaves playing of the piano. So, uh, so well, really, this character of the dance. And then we come in and we have to try to play the bar five uh, melodic, not too fast like some people used to play. Uh, so, uh, play it out and go to, to this modulation to E natural. Normally, Bartok didn't write tonal music, he didn't write the tonality. So, it's the only piece is written like this. And then there's the answer. Uh, so here it has a more speaking character, more dancing character. The other first is a bit more melodic, more uh, singing. Sposato. Uh, the same, uh, but we have the 16th now up, as a bit and a little point on it, but it makes a difference. So it's a little lighter, pimpa, in a tara, pimpa, a little like a. And here also, I do use the vibrato like. Um, not like an expression, but also like a dynamic. So the, the louder I'm getting, the wider I vibrate. So this 
I let the thumb away that I can really have a wider vibrato. If I let the thumb on it, I will not have the same. This is more wide, so it's a vibrato more from the, like on the violin, it's more from the, from the elbow than, than, than in the hand. So with thumb down will be more, would be more here in the hand. So I prefer the wider vibrato. And it's getting more singing vibrato. So, and then here I have two bars or for make a crescendo, so... And have also this character of the dance, so the same, this classical form of 4-4, four, four. so eight bars, and eight plus eight. So in this case, we have also this structure, um, classical structure, and the first is melodic and the second more rhythmic. <laughs> 